again, it's Bree and Aldrich here to do BTD Addicts prompt number 22, which is, what do you do while you wait? Everyone in the BGD hobby knows the pain of you have ordered your doll, and now comes the waiting game of what could possibly be anywhere from a week to a few months, depending on if your doll's in stock, mostly. So, personally, I end up initially looking at the tracking number a lot. Like, every day, <laughs> I'll go just check if there's any updates. And I have tried to give myself a rule, going through this four times, to only limit myself to doing that once a day, because if I do it more than that, I'll just get sad and frustrated that it hasn't updated within the last four hours. So, the other thing I tend to do is draw the character and try to make backstory for them. That's one of the things that keeps my mind off the insane amounts of waiting, because I will admit I'm generally a rather impatient person. I like having things, and I like having things I've paid a lot of money for. That's one of the only things about the dolly hobby I kind of don't like, is that most, like 99% of the time you have to order online, and I I like having the product in my hand when I hand over lots of money, but it's something I just kind of need to learn to get over if I want these nice resin friends and vinyl friends. These tiny little human-y shaped friends. So yeah, that's kind of what I do. I'll mostly draw them, try to write some, try to figure out how they interact with the other characters that I, in the case of everybody after Raleigh, the ones I've already got. Um, and I'll tend to look at owner pictures. It's like, oh, that's a cool thing that someone did with the, the same mold or the same sculpt. Or, ooh, that's nice. And I'll just be like, oh, that's pretty. I can't wait to add my own little voice to what the sculpt can be. Uh, I'll watch a lot of reviews on the sculpt, both before and after the waiting starts, just like to see, again, to see kind of what other people have done, whether it's a good help for like time to decide whether it's like you actually liked the sculpt or if you're just really in love with the company photo. So that's actually very helpful, at least to me. <laughs> yeah, the waiting, the waiting is, waiting is the hardest part, as the old saying goes. And especially in the doll hobby where things can take so long to get to you. But that just makes when they do show up so much more special because it's something, if the anticipation has grown, the thing, the thing you want is finally here, the thing you've waited, waited for and done all the stuff to try to distract yourself because every once in a while I will actually like actively try to distract myself. Like you're not allowed to look at dolls all day because you're going to, because you, by my you, I mean me, are just going to get really obsessive again and go check that tracking number 30 times in a minute. <laughs> which isn't healthy. So yeah, waiting, waiting, waiting sucks. <laughs> waiting for it is just awful. And then, you know, they get stuck in customs and you've got more waiting. But yeah, waiting, waiting for the dolls is probably one of the more frustrating parts of the hobby. But it's a part of the hobby that everyone who's in it learns to live with. And the more you can do to distract yourself from just the constant thinking about, is it here yet? Is it here yet? Ooh, look, the mailman, does he have it? Does he have it? Does he have it? Does he have it? The, the, the happier you will probably be, at least in my case. So that's really what I wanted to say on the waiting game in the Dolly Hobby. So until next time, bye.